All right, thanks for tuning in to another physics lesson with Mr. M. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to solve a uh, forces problem, a tension problem, where you have unequal angles in the cables. All right, and so uh, we take a look at the example here. It says a 150 Newton bird feeder is supported by three cables as shown in the figure. Find the tension in each cable. All right, so the way that we're gonna attack this is um, we're going to label each cable as uh, its own variable. And then what we have to do is, just, this is really a Newton's third law problem. We're, we have to use our understanding of our forces. All right, just really drawing a diagram is going to help us. Um, so let's kind of get started with that. I'm going to label the one on the left here as T1, uh, the one on the right, T2, and then this bottom one, T3. And so our, our goal here is to solve for each of those cables. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of transpose those um, cables and those angles onto an XY coordinate, because I think that's gonna help us kind of visualize those forces a little bit better. Um, and so we basically have one downward force is T3. And based on the problem, we know that that is a 150 Newton bird feeder. So I know that T3 equals 150 Newtons. And we're technically negative because it's going in the downward direction. Now I'm gonna draw my T1 and T2 forces like such, all right? Where this is going to be a 60 degree angle and this is gonna be a 30 degree angle. And that just goes back to um, alternate interior angles, right? So the 60 is up here and the 30 is up here in the problem. Because they're alternating interior, that means that they are equal. So we can set that equal. And that's gonna just gonna give us a little bit better idea of kind of how to solve this problem, like kind of where to go, all right? And we have to use our knowledge of when we have an angled vector, we need to be able to break it into um, x and y uh, vectors. And so just trying to visualize here those x and y vectors that we have to kind of utilize to our advantage um, and use that those trig functions um, to help us with that. All right, in addition to Newton's laws. So the next thing that we're going to do essentially is we're going to solve for like what's the total y component and then what's the total x component. All right. And so if I were to solve for my total y component, that's going to be my y1 plus my y2 minus my what would be T3. T3 is completely vertical, so that's like just the Y component. And so how would we solve for Y1, right? So um, here I have my 60 degree angle. So if I'm trying to find the hypotenuse in this case, which is T1, so why don't we just label that? So this is T1 and uh, this hypotenuse would be T2. I'm gonna go opposite and hypotenuse. So that's gonna give me my sine trig function. So we're gonna go T1 times the sine of 60 plus, I gotta do the same thing for T2. So it's the same thing. I'm gonna go opposite hypotenuse, so that's sine. So that's gonna be uh, T2 sine of 30. And then we're gonna subtract the, the bottom Y component. Um, 150 and all of that should equal out to zero because because there's no acceleration everything is in equilibrium here so everything's gonna equal zero now we're gonna do the same thing for the X component so I've got pretty much x1 and x2 are gonna have to cancel out and so how do we solve for x1 well x1 is if you notice is going to the left so that's a negative component all right, so um, if I have T1 and X1, I'm gonna use cosine because cosine is adjacent and hypotenuse. 
So t, uh, so negative t1 times the cosine of 60 plus, and the same thing on this side, with a 30x2 and t2, we're going to do um, t2 times the cosine of 30. And that should also equal 0. All right. So now we have two equations and we have two unknowns. And so what we have to do at this point is we have to make a, some sort of substitution, all right, where we can eliminate the two unknowns and make it just one unknown, all right? And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to use that, we're going to use this uh, x total x component equation where we can swing this uh, t1 across. So we can add t1 cosine of 60 to this side. And so I'm just going to rewrite this. Um, t2 cosine of 30 is going to equal t1 cosine of 60. And then I can get rid of this cosine of 30 to get t2 all by itself. So t2 equals T1 times the cosine of 60 divided by the cosine of 30. And so we'll simplify this. So T2 equals T1 times uh, 0.577. So now I've got, I've eliminated T2 into T1. And now what I can do is I can go back into the total Y equation and make that substitution. And so that's what we're going to do at this point. So if I go back to my um, total y equation, so t1 sine of 60 plus, and here, here's where I'm going to make that substitution, where I'm going to substitute this t1, 0.577, in for that t2. So it's going to look like this. Um, T1 times 0 0.577 times the sine of 30 degrees. And I'm going to just kind of swing this on the other side. So add 150. So that's going to equal 150. All right, now we're just a, a means of combining like terms. All right, so T1 um, times uh, sine of 60 gives me um, T1. Well, really, it gives me, um, I should have rewrote the other, other way, 0 0.866 T1 plus, and then we're going to do this here, 0 0.577 times the sine of 30. 0.288. So this is 0 0.288 T1 equals 150. And then we just add them up. So 0 0.866 plus 0 0.288 gives me 1.15 1 T1 equals 150. And then we will divide by 1.15 on both sides. So T1 comes out to be 130 newtons. So now we've solved T1. We know that this is 130 newtons. Now the only goal we have left is to solve for T2. And that becomes really easy because T2 equals T1 times 0.577. So T2 is going to equal T1, which is 130, times 0.577. And we get our answer of 75 newtons. All right. And so now we know all of them. T1 is 130, T2 is 75, and T3 is the 150. 
So um, I hope this video is helpful for you uh, in solving your own tension problem where the angles are not the same. As always, uh, like and subscribe if this video has helped you.